mistakes that companies make when hiring salespeople. The mistakes that companies make when hiring salespeople, for me, starts with the interview process. I like to use a three-step approach to interviewing a potential salesperson. The first thing is a phone interview. I want to make sure that they come across well on the telephone because at some point they're going to be ringing a prospective customer. And so I want to hear a good, clear diction on the telephone with confidence and the ability to actually have a conversation on the phone because that's not as easy as you might think it is. The second step in the process is that first face-to-face -face interview. And that to me is critical because I want to see how they present themselves. Sales is about presentation. It's about how you come across. And so for me, number one is turning up on time. Number two is how you physically present yourself. And number three is what I heard on the phone and is what I've read in the CV absolutely right. So what is their presence like? That's what I'm looking for in that first face-to-face -face interview. The next step is the full interview. So step three, I get people back and the first thing they're going to do is a presentation. I give them a topic that they need to do a presentation on. And the reason I do that is quite simple. It's the only time I get to see how they might react and present in front of a potential customer. So putting together a presentation is really important as part of the entire process because that's the time, as I've said, that you actually get to see how they might perform in front of a potential customer. And then the other thing I do is I go through their CV in detail. I want to understand if they've been in sales before, did they achieve the targets they say they did? How did they do against their colleagues? Were they top, middle or bottom? What did they do to make themselves successful? What worked and what didn't work? What were their greatest achievements? What were their worst failures? How did they react to both of those? And then I want to test the sales skills. So let me give you an example of an interview I gave somebody over the phone a few months ago. I was interviewing for a position and I had a number of CVs in front of me. And one of the people who I talked to on the phone had a very strong CV or what looked like a strong CV of sales management in several companies. He'd been with them three or four years each one and it looked a very strong CV as I said. But when I actually spoke to him on the phone and I said to him, well, I need somebody who's very good at new business development. They insisted that they knew how to do that. But I said to them, but your CV tells me, and you just told me, that what you really did was you looked after customers. As he was talking through his CV, I could tell that what really happened was that he fell into sales, he fell into looking after their current customers because there was no one else to actually look after them. In fact, he actually said that himself. I got into sales and looking after customers because there was no one else to do it. And I said, well, I need a new business salesperson. I need somebody who actually understands sales, who actually understands the process of sales and knows how to win new business. I can do that. I said, looking at your CV and this conversation, I can tell you you don't. My experience and knowledge tells me you don't have that skill set. He was pretty persistent, which went in his favor, because I like that. In sales, you've got to be persistent. But I said, look, you really don't have the skills. You've just said it yourself that you actually just looked after customers because there was no one else to do it. And he kept coming back at me. So I said, look, let me ask you a simple question. Give me three closing techniques. He paused for a while and then said to me, I don't understand the question. I said, exactly. And that was the end of that. So what you have to understand as a business owner, as the interviewer, you really have to understand what is it you're asking and understand if the answers you're getting back are credible. I test if a salesperson is a salesperson. I ask them what they understand about the sales process. I ask them what they understand about closing techniques. I ask them what they understand about how you 
get and create a customer from nothing? How do you get from, very nice to have met you, to thank you for the order? What is that process and what are the techniques that allow you to do that? And can you prove that you've done that? Most people don't understand how to carry out the sales interview because they don't understand what it is they're looking for. And they don't understand if what they're being told is credible or not. They do not understand how to test that. But that is what you have to do if you want to hire the right salespeople for your business.